What is going on guys, it is CG here and welcome back to another Ark Survival Evolved Mod Showcase. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the Zipline Systems Mod. All credit goes to Mezzo for creating this wonderful little mod. This mod is pretty straightforward to get the grips of, so I'm just going to jump straight into it. Once starting the game, go to your Engrams tab, scroll to the very bottom and you'll see the Zipline structure. You must make sure that you have a wooden pillar researched first in order to craft this structure. To be able to craft this item you will need to be at least level 20 and have learnt the engram which is only 5 engram points. After doing so you can go to the craftables tab and you'll see the cost requirements. It requires 40 wood, 10 thatch, 7 fibre and 5 metal ingots. You will need a minimum of 2 zipline pillars in order for this to properly function. First, you take one of your pillars, you go to your starting location. Keep in mind that the starting location will always be the highest zipline pillar that you have placed, and you cannot go up them, only down. It is best to place your first pillar somewhere high, like I have here, and then the opposite pillar at a lower altitude. Once you've placed the pillar, walk up to it, and it will ask you to select for connection. To do this, you must press E, and it will state at the bottom left of the screen what you've currently selected. Once approaching your end destination, place the pillar and a cable should appear. This shows that you're all ready to go. If you wish to dismount the zipline, just press space whilst riding and you'll automatically jump off. You can have up to 4 ziplines per pillar, allowing you to have multiple endpoints off of one starting location. This is pretty much how you use a mod, it's pretty straightforward, very very cheap the actual zip lines itself and it is very very useful. Now downloading the mod is pretty simple too. Simply go to the Steam Workshop, search for Zipline Systems and then click the subscribe button. After doing this you are all ready to go. Now that is pretty much it for this video, I just want to thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you in any way, please do leave a like and I'll see you all in the next video.